figuring that out. Yeah, no problem. Five. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Infinity B Team Open. We hold every Saturday night, 6 p.m. PST, and by we, I mean Infinity Gaming. We are the most awesome group of people ever, except for Nurse, who joined me tonight. He, Thanks. He's that a, was an awesome introduction. He's a jerk. <laughs> Nobody likes him. He throws clan wars. But I guess we'll keep guess him. We'll keep. He's, he's okay. This is game number two of the quarterfinals. We have in the bottom right hand corner Excalibur, the blue Protoss, and in the top left hand corner Bullharm, the red Zergi on WCS Ohana. And uh, we just found out uh, from Nurse himself, we just Googled, Ohana means family. Yeah, it's true, actually. So uh, we I learned something new today. today. Ohana means family, that's awesome. This is a PVZ. Excalibur is up 1-0 over Bullharm with an interesting seven immortal one century six doctor two push. Century. Two century with max energy. Oh well, well that's okay, plenty of force like fields. But um game yeah, winning kind of plays. So let's see if uh, Excalibur goes for one gate exp oh wait never mind. I want a little ground. But anything could happen. Forge Fast Expand! I'm not a fan of this style walling that Excalibur's doing with the pylon. Which one do you do? Well, I mean, I don't like putting the pylon there. I put the pylon on the other side because uh, the 2x2 two two buildings have smaller or lower health. So, say he gets Baneling busted, right? And he's going to target the lowest health buildings. So. If the pylon is here, um, he kills that, and then it's a shorter distance up the main. Where if it's on the other side, it's a longer distance to the main. Yeah, but if yeah, I but see if a baneling bus coming, I tend to build a gateway right behind it to be a jerk. jerk. Yeah, but it's the little things, guys. The little things. Little th So it looks like we've got. Uh, Forge we first, Forge first, back to Cute little pylon block. Pylon block. Pylon block. A, oh, nice. Um, oh, nice. Kind of interesting. Normally, players will let that pylon finish, go up to 20 out of 18 supply, uh, just get their economy going a little faster. But um, instead, opting to save some money. However, I think it might put them behind in the long run because the amount of time. This counterattack counter though, though. Yep. gonna, slip, gonna in. slip in. Doesn't have that probe on hole position in that little hole. Oh. The Death Star wall. Oh, that just sucks so bad. The can's gonna get a shot off, maybe two. two. Kill Rock, one ling. One. And this can be this. enough to screw everything up. This itself. Oh, actually, that was pretty good play by Excalibur right there, with the uh, the walk mineral through. drilling micro. Actually, only losing two workers? One of them might have been the scouting worker, too. Oh, he's throwing away a worker there. Very nice. nice. But, um, oh, he's trying to send workers to pick off the low health, uh, Linger. dog Linger. unit. Dog <laughs> unit. <laughs> nice cutback. <laughs> Meanwhile, oh, Bullharm is taking a third. So, he feels pretty confident. A, he knows exactly what's going on. B, he's delayed the core, because that normally delays the core, because people are afraid to send the ling, or the, um, the worker down because of the lings. And C, it's just gonna, you know, throw off the Protoss player by a lot. So, I mean, notice he, he misrallied his natural. Um, that's a 550, that's a 550 core. core, that's killing him. He doesn't have the second gas. The core is late. It's also placed right next to the wall. A little interesting, again, because, um, you know, roaches can pick that off, and then you can't warp in stalkers to defend, like, a two-base roach all in. Um, and as of now, he doesn't know that he has a third. But he's sending the probe down a little later than you'd normally like. Normally, you'd want to know by at least 4.45 whether there's a third. Five at the latest, so you can add on some cannons. But still, good. He's going to confirm that there's a third. Knows there is no two-base muta or two-base all in coming from the two-base bane two-base roach, whatever. So let's see what uh, Excalibur follows this up with, getting plus one and warp gate tech. 
Well, last time he uh, he one based into an double robo expansion of some sort. So we'll see if we can uh, get something a little more standardish. Yeah, I'd say he's I'd say way he behind at this point, though. Yeah, the supply blocks uh, again, kind of holding him back. It's 7:32, and he has no tech or production added on. Like. Bullhard's got no production. no production. What are you doing? There we go. Bullhard is actually being extremely active with these links, checking for all the proxy locations. Uh, he's not going to let anything sneak by him. That's very good use of the units that he made early on. Um, so often players will make units, and uh, especially Zerg. If you're not making, uh, if you're making units, you're not making drones. Every Zergling you see. Look at this scouting! Holy crap! Yeah, exactly. He's, he's just being really active all around the map, doing exactly what Zerg needs to do. Exactly what everyone needs to do, really. But. Is this going to be a fourth? Where's he going with this pro? To his Maybe death? He's, death. Just, well, he's not taking the watchtower. Death! Death to probe. See? Yeah, oh, he mineral to get somewhere. Well, he sees no speed yet, but the speed will be done shortly. Boheim already creeping up. Probably should send some links back to kill those rocks, or maybe his creeper queen. But uh, not crucial because he knows no real attacks coming. Looks like he's going for like a very late um, blink prism. Oh, this is that like robo blink build, but it's gonna hit like. Way late. Pretty late. late. Like, like three minutes late. Or more. <laughs> and Bullheim still being so active. You see, he's no third. Um, Whoa, is he gonna oh, spot this warp prism? I mean, he can see it. Oh, perfect. Yeah, he spots it. Just a matter of knowing Does he it's see there. It, Does, yeah. I, mean, yeah, I don't know if his camera went over it. Um. Well, Bullheim's got Bullheim. some overlords over here as well. Let's see. I mean, he's gonna like. It's just outside. Oh, of his it's vision. just out of vision. Oh, oh well, right not. back in vision. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So, looking at his camera, oh, it looks like you no. Know, has he poked over there? I mean, he sees it on the mini map. I'm, I'm just checking his camera now, but. Uh, Open stalkers. Still doesn't these. see it. Although, if he attacks those overlords, this is gonna supply that's block him. In my opinion, attacking those overlords. Unless he's hoping to like supply block it for the push, but then he know like he sees it. Eh, actually, he probably assumed he saw it anyway. Again, I'm making calls based off the fact that I can see everything. <laughs> so <laughs> everyone's Everyone making fun of your units. The dog, the unit. dog unit. Hey, it is a dog unit. Oh, he's gonna oh, blink he on the high ground. Oh, yeah, just a couple stalkers coming up on the high ground. Focus on the overlords. And, you know, this Overlord floods us for a reason, of course. But, uh, Lings and Roaches coming in. Gonna have to blink back down. Oh, oh, oh. Smart Sending the blink. to the bottom, to the low ground. This is what needs to happen. He's, he's keeping them there. And, oh, man, Speedling's a really good answer. to. Uh, need to blink, blink away again. Because, Backing this uh, up with more stockers. Starting some immortal production, too. Yeah, he's got an immortal just chilling in his main. Where's his robo? Oh, it's behind Oh, Jesus Lord. Who looks back there? No one, that's why I always put my tech there, dude. If he walked to the left and killed all those freaking overlords, that would hurt. That would. Oh, he only gets a couple of the stoppers up on the high ground. That's like not. Not and they're not gonna be able to blink scouter. until just about now, and there they go. Yeah, Bullhorn needs to split his units a little bit better, and oh man. Losing so many links to this. Um, Those are all like free. Three Roaches at a time. Wow. Units lost, still actually favoring Bullhorn. Well, now it's perfectly tied, but like, think about the spending. Definitely. Well, oh. um, and the tech and everything. Sending the two immortals down to the back along with the relic. Um, maybe he's gonna try to take a third behind this, but honestly, that's, that's not even gonna do anything. You, you can't just like. Oh well, my all in. Pick it up. Pick it up. Take a third. Aww. 
Uh, he's going to be losing these stalkers. Uh, Blink is off cooldown, but stopping to shoot there again, he's just taking more damage. going to lose all these stalkers. Rebuilding stalkers is so painful. Full harm is killing him in the supply count. He saw the infestation pit timing, but... Uh, so he knows. That's just stealing yeah. his defeat, though. Yeah, poor prism. He's down one and a half food. Still no third. Well, I'm supply locked for a bit, but I mean, he sees that there's still no third. He knows, like, yeah, they both expansions covered. I mean, honestly, building this nexus is kind of like, um, I don't know. Too little, too, too late. Little, too late. Yeah, it's not gonna be enough. His economy is already um, so behind. The Zerg player can double expand right now, um, if he wants, or he can, you know, he's going for the, another Evo Chamber, he's gonna go for upgrades. It looks like, with the Evo Chamber and the upgrades, he's gonna look to just press it as an advantage and say, hey, I'm already ahead, let me just take some, some, uh, some serious, like, bold economic plays right now. Like, that's kind of looking to be what he's saying. When uh, behind. Economy. Dark um, Shrine. <laughs> Does he have a DT Shrine? Don't no, but Excalibur no. needs one. Yeah, honestly, he already has the war prisons out. He's always already shown that he's ready to use them. Uh, and that's how I always beat Zerg. Not always, but uh, that's how I like to beat Zerg with uh, multi prong drops and everything. Take out tech structures in the back. Oh, with with it. With what? You missed a fungal there, uh, and then a nice blink to force another one out. Oh, he's gonna get an infester. Maybe he is so. sniping infestors like a boss. Meanwhile, he's losing his third though. Oh yeah, he's gonna oh, and it's and it's gone. He can't really defend this. There's no way he can no defend, defend that. Bohan's maxed. Um, he definitely should build like like three more hatcheries. I know um, the trap is. This, this is not gonna be good for him. Yeah, no, I mean you can't trap them when the army's like that much bigger. Although so many idle you, idle units in this fight. Um, mortals, mortals. Yeah. Oh, what the fighting mortals? Not for not for blink stalkers. Um, yeah, he just Wow! Roaches, like, I can't believe he lost all that. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter, he's still ahead in food. And every unit that the Zerg player loses is valued at so much less just because he can easily remax. Like, look at 42 lengths, he's already backing out. Probably not the right decision, again. He needs to build, like, three more hatcheries because he's floating so much money and it's simply just larva that's restricting him now. He's on three base, no macro hatch. And, I mean, he wants to go towards, like, Broodlord and Fester. Because he's Zerg, and the opponent is Protoss, and for that you need more geysers, like just get the gas. Although flooding lings like that is going to kind of mess up your gas to mineral ratio. Oh, right into the main base! No sentry, no force fields. Whole position on those lings, they're kind of messing up, they're trying to attack units that should be attacking. He honestly should suicide these and just kill the workers. Like, just get up in there, hold position, go up into the main, kill workers. No, not there. It's hold position, but a little late and a little not where it needs to be. Um, workers killed, going up 14. Because I mean, Excalibur is just honestly he's kind of hanging on, just because it's a tournament game. I think it's a little like. I don't see how he's coming back from this. Yeah, and now we have a fourth going down for our Zergy buddy. And a macro hatch. Give us a slash dance! Oh man. Some, Zer some zealots in the back trying to make use of those war prisms, but you know what's the best combination with a war prism? The Dark Yellow Templar. Templar. Uh, Yep. 1A Templar. Yep, that's the best. He's finally building some hatcheries. He's one shy of my suggestion, though. So, um, it's all good. That's quite a bit of gas, though. <laughs> yep. But, I mean, once he starts kicking out the Broodlords, that's all gone. <laughs> this is going to be probably the final engage for Excalibur, and we're going to go to a game three here. Where are the infestors? Alright, he's, he's got, got a him. lot of festers and a lot of energy. And, um, Excalibur is gonna be confused. He probably assumes the fourth is up here. And now he's marching his army up here and putting it in kind of a weird position. 
Especially with this forest of spine crawlers down here. Oh. And, um. Oh, that's actually a lot of. Very low warping energy sentries that just got warped in. Uh, warping in sentries right before a fight is almost never, like, the right decision because. Low energy. Yeah, oh man, he's got one class is poking up. <laughs> Plus three attack, though. What are the upgrades for, uh. 2 1 on range units? He's kind of baiting the non hold position units from the Zerg out, but at this point, like. Production tab says it all. This is everything Excalibur has. And. Yeah, he's not gonna be able to do anything behind this. He's supply blocked, and he's still not making power on, so. This is everything that he's gonna have for this fight. Um, Greater Spire coming out. No corruptors, though? Like, kind of. He's got four on the way. Four on the way, and what, one on the map or something? But. Force it'd be fields. nice to, uh. Oh, sending some roaches from behind, this is good. Baiting out a lot of force fields, and since those roaches are very low energy, like. They're not roaches. Roaches are at pretty low energy, guys. <laughs> just to let you know. Um, oh, a low energy out. unit. Nice force yeah. fields, though. Look at that, he's picking off portions of the army. Although, eh, it, it kind of hurt him in the end because he lost more units than it saved. You know, because he blinked those stalkers down and then uh, he got trapped. Bohar needs to uh, save his money. Or supply, too, for Broodlords. He's got a couple corruptors out, and Greatest Part is done. Like, let's go. Match that B button, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Making another hatchery. I get not getting more units and the zealots are, zealots are engaging. That's not good. Yeah, walking down that free stalker or stalker. Yeah. Stalker. Free sentry. Do you even play this game? Sometimes. I'm pretty bad pretty at it bad. though. Oh, he doesn't need to be fighting with these corruptors, and he needs to be mashing that B button. That guy international says one right behind day nine. That is quite comical. Where are those? Oh. Should have went back Should've and warped those, those there. They are. Yeah. A little shy on the money because it took so long to get his fourth. And that could hurt him actually. Although, again, production tab kind of says it all. You know what would be nice to see right now? Oh wow, here's, a good, here's the engage. And no fungal. Not quite yet. Yeah, not no quite yet. fungal. Because he wanted to wait on the brew lords, that's why. But, I mean, he has a lot of Fines are engaged. Oh, man. Fungo! Blink oh, over is gonna kill factors. a lot of units! Yeah, he's spread he's out. Not blinking. And if he loses those stalkers, it's GG. Bad concave. There's no answer for the Broodlords. Oh, he should be focusing that war prism. I mean, no reinforcements. Fight's over. Oh! Kill it! <laughs> Excalibur's yeah, just running out of right. units at this point. He's gonna warp in some stalkers over on the left side, but four stalkers is not like the answer to this game. The answer to this game is a mothership and like twelve archons. That's not happening. Excalibur's actually completely mined out his main and he has resources left. Trapping a few there. stalkers. Forcing I mean, a blink back. Excalibur can't reinforce this anymore. He's actually mined out completely. He's gonna have to transfer. His third base is going up though at the 26 minute mark. Just finished. Like, luckily he has a lot of gas because there's no Templar archives to burn. Uh, to gas dump on, you know. More Broodlords being more. Oh, he's this going is, for that. This is it. I think he realized he's behind, as he is now going for the dark time. <laughs> He's gonna lose all these stalkers. Here comes the links in from the side. Gonna shut down a lot of that. A few oh, of them slip through. A little, uh, a little Good game from Excalibur. Very well played.